If you're in my fourth period, you can just hang tight in here until the ladies are done changing and getting their stuff together. Pickle boxing, we're so glad that you were able to make it. If you can hang around for a few more minutes, we're going to come out and then like to let the little talk back with you guys. Awesome. Thank you.
to see if you had any questions about how we did what we did today and who the students are that are participating and what class it is that they're in that allows them to do this and things like that. So I'm going to let um, Peggy talk first and she's going to tell you a little bit about Show Troop and then if you have questions yourselves, Peggy and Alessa and uh, Abby and a couple other people have been in for all four years of high school. Um, and then there are some people that, this is their first year with Show Troop, some people um, are doing this as a club and they're not in the class, so she's going to come and explain how that works. And then if you have questions, just raise your hand. Thanks, Jane, for giving this kind of responsibility. I'm going to take you but I know she did. Yeah, I didn't know I'd check that. Okay. Hi, I'm Peggy. I'm a senior this year. Uh, my freshman year, I took this as a club Show Troop because, honestly, I wasn't aware of this class because I did band from fifth grade to ninth grade. And so when G comes to summers, she just went to the choir class. So, yeah, call me out. Hey, you're hey. hey. <laughs> um, But, so I took it as a club. And then uh, sophomore through this year, my senior year, I have been taking this class. It's really fun. It's a mix of dancing and singing, as you could tell. Uh, but show is really fun, and it's uh, definitely different from what you would expect because it's not just choir, it's not, you know, you're not blowing your lungs out into an instrument. I know firsthand. Uh, yeah, it's pretty great. Anyone have any questions about it? Don't all raise your hands at once. <laughs> any questions? Any, like, specific comments about any one? Oh, yeah, it is an honors class. That is, that is true. Yeah, it, yeah, that GPA will go. Oh yeah, and if you don't want to, you know, if you're not like, oh, I don't like to show myself off on stage as much, I'm pretty shy, you can be part of the crew, which are up there, if you guys want to wave, wave to the crew. And you can do both. You can do both, like Olivia. Hello, my name is Lauren May Clee. They call me B. Um, and it isn't because I'm B, it's because my older brother was a football player, he was B, and so now it's carried on. So if you have an older sibling, sucks to suck. Um, anyway, so I actually, from, I'm a junior, and this is my first year doing show troop, and I've always like been in choir, been in choir since fifth grade, but I was not a dancer. I mean, I bet you guys can tell that, but I'm not a dancer. I joined this class after I dropped an AP course, and I expected this to be like, oh God, I'm going to be so terrible. But the environment is so open, and so like, it's just fun to come into class every single day. We're one big family. One big family. And that you just need to have fun or a break from actual schooling, this is the class to do it. And like, look at the environment, dude. Just look at it. Just look at it. Anyway, this is a lady that's been doing it for four years and she has no patience for me. So here we go. Okay, okay. One other thing real quick. How many of you that are here that are, were on stage today also do like a sport or another activity that, that you have to kind of do? So it's not impossible to do a sport cheerleading, do uh, other activities. We have some cheerleaders, we have some soccer players, some basketball players. Hi, I'm Abby. I've been doing this for four years and... Thank you. Thank you. So I'm, okay, sorry. <laughs> I was a team, I did TAM, the TAM program for like two years, and so I know how to like be a teacher, but um, I've been doing this for four years and my first year as a freshman, it was, I wasn't in a lot of things because I didn't know how, like, I didn't know really any of the dances and I didn't know, like, what I could do to help the group or anything. But, like, by the time that like, you progress to be in more activities and be in more dances, be in more songs, and you can be, if you're a singer, you can sing a solo or a duet. Like, you can really do anything and it's really fun. And also, um, I'm going to share an embarrassing story. If, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
Um, so we, we we have costumes that we have to wear because we want to look, you know, flashy and nice and sparkly and pretty. And yeah. And I danced one year to what was the song that I did? Change, Change to the rhythm by Katy Perry, and my skirt fell off. My I had leggings left, luckily, underneath, so I had leggings in my bodysuit, and my skirt fell off in the middle of the show. And all I did was I took it off, and I threw it behind my head, and I continued. So it was fantastic. They had it on video. It was fantastic. But yes, you can go to the But basically, the moral story is even if stuff like that happens, even if you mess up a song or your dress falls during a dance or something like that, you just need to carry on and keep going and keep progressing. And you'll get better. Yeah, the great thing about show truth is that people enjoy it so much because of how different it is from what you usually expect in a high school. So when stuff like that happens, like Abby laughed, we all laughed, the whole audience. Hi, I'm Kendall, and it is absolutely none of you, because you all have grown up. I don't just get married, she's got the panic look on her face. <laughs> so this is my first year in show troop, and I can tell you already, I probably know like all of you, but not very close enough to all friends. I know Abby, very nice. I am not, I'm not going to call anybody out, but still. Um, on every night, I'm just going to say this now, I have a mental breakdown because of all the stress of the show and everything. Trying to find costume pieces. Great, look at me now, I've gotten past that. Um, I sang family, I got through everything, and we noticed how big we've gotten. Like, honestly, I haven't noticed how tall I've gotten and how fat I've gotten. Shaming myself. <laughs> um, but I noticed how tall you guys have gotten, and I hope to see a lot of you guys in your freshman year, because I'm still a freshman. Never myself out, but. <laughs> But um, honestly, like being a show troop, I will have times where I will get stressed. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> some days I will be stressed, and some days I'll be like, I can't do this no more. I will throw myself at a wall and hope for the best. And some days I look at my friends and family here at show troop, and I'm like, I can do this. And I hope to see a lot. Like I said, I hope to see a lot of you guys in the freshman year. Like, if you guys don't like to sing and dance, always hang out backstage. I was like, you got a freshman year trust me. You have to, but you, if you want to be a tech member, you do have to take a test in order to oh, do test that. Have to go but yeah, it's like, right. don't worry. It's okay, real, real quick thing about tech. So, I'm, I joined Show Troop my sophomore year because I started doing theater my sophomore year like tech stuff too so I stage manage theater stuff and whatever so if you want to do like anything that has to do with theater like or anything like in our stage production class you do have to take theater one your freshman year but then your sophomore year you can take stage productions and you have to take an OSHA certification test to work in the booth of the catwalk backstage all of those things and that all goes with me the whole and you don't have to take theater your freshman year like if you have some other requirement or something yeah. but have to take theater one before you can take the other class. Right. And so like this class. Year, as long as you save yourself a right. year. And then this class, you can do tech and like before. Like Dylan and Emily both run sound and lights. I do sound and lights. Reese does sound and lights. Like we all figure out a way to do it. It's a rotation. So don't think that like just because you want to perform doesn't mean you can't explore the tech side of things too. Because it definitely makes you a well rounded asset to the group. Um, it also helps, like, Reese just got thrown the sound system at her this year because um, me, Dylan, and Emily are graduating. So she's getting all of it next year, and then hopefully Rebecca will, or somebody else will get, her, get it after her. And you learn when we go on tour, we go to different schools and stuff. You learn how to set up the sound system, how to, like, make it, like, pretty, and you know, so people don't fall and die, you know, the show on board. And it's like, yes. Yes. So, yeah, that's, that's my spiel. Basically, the best is everything. Olivia is in everything she can be in. So, if you don't want to be stressed, don't, don't be Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'll, I'll make it. I'll be quick. Um, so, just a few things. I, my freshman year, so in elementary school, I did choir. Um, I did art in sixth and seventh grade, and in eighth grade, I did choir. I always liked to sing. Um, and then freshman year, I did my computer. I got my tech credit out of the way. 
It's like, dang, I really regret not doing choir. So I joined choir my sophomore year, and I love it. And so this year is the first year I sort of really got into the show troop thing. Miss G was like, girl, you trying to sing a song? And I was like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just a ton of fun. And I do three sports a year, and Miss G is so flexible with her schedule. Like, for our winter concert, I literally played half of my basketball game, booked it over here, and did our concert. So she'll work with you on whatever you have to do. Um, and then just one thing, I know when I first did church, I was like, I can't really dance, I don't really want to dance. And not to call you out, but Morgan, I know you do TikToks, and I know probably a lot of y'all do TikToks. So I know y'all know how to dance. So don't tell me y'all don't know how to dance. Um, <laughs> but anyways, it's just, a, just like everybody said, it's a great group. We all love each other. And it's just a really fun thing, um, just, it, especially if you enjoy music and enjoy performing. It's a great way to show what you can do, show your stuff. Right, so we here's have to show up with Rebecca, Rebecca, and then we, I know you guys have to get to your like, next lunch. Or you're you going to make TikToks in the back. <laughs> okay, so, so they want us to milk it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just have one quick thing. I just want to say that this class, Choir in general is just so much more educational than normal academic education to me because it teaches you so many different things that you would never learn in like that type of setting. Like like Olivia says, time management, life skills, how to be a good person, like people skills. There you, there you go. How to be a good person. Like when I came into show truth last year, I was in just the club, and then this year I joined the class. But I was so so like shy. It's all I was so like I was I sang like so quietly in choir, and this now year like. So join our club. Join this class, please. Yeah, it's it's technically called show choir. Okay. I think Alessa just wanted to say something real quick, and then we get to go. I was just. I just want to say that this class is a judgment free zone, so if you're having a bad day or something and you come into this class, you have people that will comfort you. You have everyone to support you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, consider it. I know that it's not like for selective cheat time yet, but Miss um, Eccles will have the power to assign you up if she feels like you're ready for show through or for chamber choir, or for women's choir, those are sort of the three choral options right now. And right now, the chamber choir class is broken down into women's chamber and men's chamber. So if you're like nervous about being in a class all together, like Santi is in the men's chamber class, it's all guys. It is definitely a, a energetic atmosphere. And um, the women's chamber class, it, Actually, within the women's chamber, there's an extra advanced group called the Varsity Women's Chorus, which you can audition for at the beginning of next year if you take two years. So, and Emily's the director this year. Well, she will maybe it's a student-run group, so they'll elect their next leader at the end of the school year. Um, so probably, I mean probably. I'm not going to say. But, Oh, and um, last but not least, we also have our unplugged acapella group. So if you are not able to take a class for music, or even if you are able to take a class for music, we only have uh, two members of our 10 member group that will be here next year. All of the other eight people are graduating. So it'll be definitely a year to kind of rebuild from the ground up. And Claire that just left, she stepped out. She had to get back to class, but she um, is one of the two people that will be here next year. So she's probably going to scout it out a few of those folks. But um, thank you so much for coming. We hope you have a happy holiday season. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah.
Why are you all jumping on me? Because it's fun to do.